I can I can answer that for you. We had um, I met with several business owners um, a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about developing the south side of town. They were talking about the price difference of where they can purchase the building, where they can buy land, and how much it is on the south side of town versus on, on, on the north end of town. It's cheap. And that's why we implemented that moratorium. So we won't be able to put any more little stores and bake shops in the city limits anywhere. If one closes, you're more than welcome to open another one up. We only want to have so many. The amount that we have now, that's it. Because that's one thing I see. We're destroying our communities. We put them in impoverished neighborhoods, places where we have poverty. And so that's one of the reasons I brought that up to the Mayor and Council. So we that that problem is about to be eliminated Thursday. We were actually about to sign it. But that property over there is so much cheaper than it is on the north end of town. So I think if we can not allow them to come in the city, Got it. Then we can have all the they want in the county. <laughs> but we don't want them to go in the city because I know and I see the service it does to poor communities and communities that don't really need to have it because that's not a service that we don't have. Everybody, they want to get a drink, they know how to get it. We don't need it anymore. Actually, we try, I, I, was just saying, I would like to close a couple. <laughs> But in the city limits, it's more in the city limits than it is in the county. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, they're in the city limits. Listen, all you got to do is drive through the black community, they all take the make us poor, we buy and take the keep us poor, we buy and they all sold by white folks. I don't know if I'm sure the corporate. It's 11 liquor stores in the city limits, right? Two on, well, one of them is address of Venus. One on the north side drive across the lakeside apartment. One on the one on north side of Venus. One on Venus. Uh, yeah, one out there across from, um, one across from um, the old way things. There's a really big people. It's a letter. I'm saying, I know all of them. You have James I know exactly where they are. Because when I reached out to the mayor and council about it, I wanted to see exactly how many did. And so we had actually had one that had paid in the business license in two years. So we need to get ready to be on the road because, because of our study that went out. So I, I, I'm well aware of where they are and where they're spread out, but they are see, all in the city limits. Well, no, well, the majority of them in the city limits. We don't have as many in the county, which I figured they get ready to come because we get ready to stop them holding it. So get ready, Scott. But we get rid of it. Just same thing with the bait, with the bait shops. We want, we don't want to open up and make this a hub for things that we don't know the long term effects of. We already know the long term effects of the drinking. But these vaping shops and smoke shops, they're new. But we've seen instances of where they're killing people who recently enjoyed it. So we're gonna stop that from being a new haven. We're not gonna be a haven for balance. Those are some of the things that we proactively reached out and said we're going to stop. So I hope I hope that answers your question. But as for the property value, it's cheaper to get the property over there so they're able to open them up and put, it, put, put them in those things. So the property is cheaper.